today I'm going to show you how to make the Javachino hot chocolate, and this is the mass quantity amount. Um, we didn't think it was necessary to reduce it down for the purpose of the demo, just so you got the full effect of what you would be doing. Um, depending on the day or the specific Javachino morning, what campus you're at, etc., you may be making this the actual morning of or the day before, and then refrigerating and reheating on the morning of Javachino. So what you would do is in my stock pot here, I've already combined um, a one and a half gallons of milk. So you can use 2% vitamin D, 1% um, kind of works. Skim milk's going to be a little bit thin, so it might not work for the purpose of this actual hot chocolate recipe. Then the yummy goodness that makes it so decadent is you're going to be using eight cups of heavy cream. So that would be two quarts. Okay. So I've combined it in my pot, and to that, I am going to also put in one cup of cocoa powder. And if you were to like taste this, it would be extremely bitter. Um, this is just to add some the chocolatey flavor. Put that right in. And then to sweeten this up a little bit, we're going to add a half cup of just regular granulated sugar, which I've already pre-measured. And you will also have it pre-measured. So you will be using little baggies to the morning of or whenever you make this. I'm going to take a wire whisk. The, the reason why I'm going to take a wire whisk and start mixing this in is because the cocoa powder will form bubbles with the uh, milk mixture. So it's important to try to get those chunks out or else they won't dissolve fully. Um, it does help as this gets hotter because um, I'm going to bring it to a boil. It will, it will help combine uh, the chocolate and the sugar into the milk mixture. So we'll be right back. So we're back and as you can see, the hot chocolate mixture is smooth. You don't see any more bubbles or anything like that. It's just nice melted uh, cocoa powder into the heavy cream and milk mixture. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my induction burner and I'm going to move this over carefully onto my uh, countertop and I'm going to quickly put in my chocolate chips off the heat and the heat should just melt them from the heat, the hotness from the heavy cream. And then I'm also going to put in my vanilla. The reason I do my vanilla at the end is because it will, the alcohols would cook off, would cook off, and, I mean they will, they will get hot and go away within this, but all that flavor would disappear. So now I'm just going to stir this up. And you can see the chocolate starting to melt, like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this covered for about a minute, and I'm going to give it one more final stir, and then this will be ready for service. You'll put this in some form of a hot uh, insulated contraption to keep it warm, or a percolator, and then you would serve this with whipped cream and chocolate syrup. Enjoy. Thank you.